Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of get ready with me, trying some new stuff out, little chit chatty get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a while. Whenever I don't have my brows on, I literally just feel naked. So um, I got a lot of new stuff recently. I went to a bunch of events, so I've kind of gotten things here and there, and I thought I would try some of them out today. It was probably going to be long, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. First thing that I'm going to be trying out is a new, I have like a whole box of stuff here that I'm going to be trying. So, let's start off with the brows. I have a new brow product. This is Formula. This is their new Brow Last Longwear Brow Gel. I believe this is supposed to, like, make your, like, it's supposed to stay in your brows for a while. <laughs> like, it's supposed to last for, like, a couple of days. Some information on the stuff here. Let me look for that. I'm going to be trying out their foundation today. It says that it is um, full natural brows instantly. It's a long-wearing, water-resistant, transfer-proof, smudge-proof, and budge proof brow treatment benefits of brow enhancing ingredients yada 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 long wear silicone resin for brows that last for days so i'm assuming i remember um at the event she said that she would like wash her face and stuff and it would still stay so i will keep you guys updated on that it has um vitamin b and e offers the formula offers comfort and natural looking brows conditioning and strengthening blend and i think it is available now and it's 10.95 into it it's like a pomade kind of thing so it opens up like this and I like that the little applicator is um, angled. I was watching it at the event and it seemed like it looked like really natural and stuff. So I'm using the shade medium brown. I kind of start in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That like instantly filled in that area. like pretty thick brows but they're very sparse if that makes sense um it's like super it doesn't look like harsh either like it literally looks like my brow this lasts for days this will be like the best product ever i'm getting a little bit more product so i can kind of put that at the tail i'm honestly really shook like this looks so nice you guys can see the difference between this brow and this one it like just looks naturally full i grab the darker one to put like towards the tail dark brown so i'm gonna put this one towards the outer part i probably could even do like because i'm probably gonna be doing a dramatic look today oh yeah the dark brown's a little bit warmer than i usually will go but i really like this <laughs> brush through it really quick look like really natural this literally looks like if my brow it looks like my brow probably sticking to like that part of my um brow probably because it's literally skin <laughs> um yeah my brow like at the arch is kind of like sparse so let me see what i can do do this brow off camera and i'm gonna clean this up really quick and then i'll be right back show you guys what it looks like on its own cleaned up with concealer it's really good um personally i like my brows just like a little bit darker um, so I used the dark brown and the medium brown and I still think it could be a little bit darker So I'm just gonna fill in a little bit like of the areas that um, are a little bit more sparse um, With my powder that I always use my brow powder So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like initially because it looks it still looks really good if you like more of a natural Brow then I think this would be perfect for you, especially since it does last um, supposedly a couple days so me, I like a little bit more of a bolder brow, so I'm going to do that really quick. But I just wanted to show you guys initially what it looked like um, with just the product. Okay, so I went ahead and just finished off my brow. I just added a little bit more powder. Um, this brow ended up being... They're not the same today. It's fine. Um, I don't really have any new palettes. This is the only one I have that's new. Um, but it's not like that new. But this is the Sigma Warm Neutrals. I kind of want to do something like red-ish kind of today. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Um, this isn't a new eyeshadow primer, but it's newer to me. I've been seeing J Kiss. I use this for like ever. And the eye primer that I used before, that brand is canceled. So I'm just going to be using this one. I actually really like it. I've been using it like um, for the past like week. And I really like it. It's, oh, I didn't even say what it is. It's the Smashbox lid primer in the shade light. It looks really dark at first. Like it, I didn't, that's why I kind of never used it because it looked really dark. But once you blend it out on your eye, it cancels out all like the veins and stuff. And then it looks really nice. Normal. 
lid setting shade and it's just um full zip from ColourPop. I like the brow product though. It does feel like if you have brow gel in your brows but it's not like super hard and I don't really mind that I have to go in with powder after because if it does last a couple days and all I have to do is just go in with powder then I will do that because my brows take forever. Now that my eyes are set, I'm going to go in with passion fruit. It's like this mauvey pink color. So I wanted to talk to you guys because um, I know I've been like pretty open with like my anxiety and stuff like on Snapchat and on Twitter. I have been kind of struggling with my anxiety. Not so much my anxiety really that much lately. It's been more like I've just been not feeling myself. Um, to be completely honest, I've been kind of like really down and I think I have been wanting to go back to therapy for a while. Um, I used to go when I was younger all the time and then I stopped going about like five years ago. But I felt like it would be really helpful for me. My mom has been telling me that I should go back for a while. <laughs> um, she's been telling me for a while. And... I recently saw my friend Ashley Atley here on YouTube. She made a video all about like her mental health and stuff and that she started using BetterHelp, which is like an online kind of like therapy. Um, basically, you don't have to like leave your house. You can do like all your therapy online over the phone, like through the system, I think. And I saw her talk about it and I was like, oh, you know what? Like that actually sounds perfect for me because I hate going like to the actual place like when I would go to therapy I would hate having to like actually go and like sit down and I think it'd be a lot better if I was like in the comfort of my own home so I was like oh you know what I'm gonna probably I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sign up for it and then they actually emailed me I'm still gonna be paying for the service myself but I wanted to let you guys know about it just wanted to tell you guys if you guys were interested because I know I get a lot of questions from you guys asking like about the same thing by the way this color is really pretty um you guys asked me and about advice and stuff about like me with my struggles and I thought I would just let you guys know um about it it's, it's basically just like an online counseling system they do have like um certified um therapist and stuff like that so I will leave a link down below if you guys do want to sign up for it I'm not it's not this isn't sponsored I am going to be paying for the service myself um but if you guys do sign up with my link it is an affiliate link so you guys don't have to if you don't want to um but if you guys want to want me to I will go more in depth I was thinking about doing a video all about like my mental health and stuff like that because it is something that's really important to me and important for me to help you guys as well I love I don't mind talking about like my struggles. Um, by the way, I'm going in with this shade right here. It's called Rogue, Rogue, Rouge, Rogue, I don't know. Um, so yeah, basically it's really, I would say it's affordable for being like an online kind of counseling thing. Cause if you guys have ever been to therapy, it's really expensive. <laughs> and if you don't have like insurance and stuff, then this is perfect for you. Um, you don't need like health insurance for it. You basically just sign up online. They match you with like a um, a therapist that's gonna fit your needs most. And I think that's really awesome that there's like an actual service like that because I hated going to like actual therapy. Like I hated physically like going over there. It just made me it's even worse. It made my anxiety like 500 times worse. So I'll leave all the information down below. If you guys want to sign up, I will leave the link down there for you. If you want me to do a video like on my mental health? Let me know because um, I struggle with a lot. It's enough of me and my problems. Um, this color is really pretty. I feel like it's not blending that well though. I've been here for like two minutes <laughs> trying to blend. I'm going to go in with a clean brush and kind of blend out these edges. Brush. So I like this brush for blending. Just adding a little bit more of that color. I use this brush, it actually blended out a lot better. I don't know why. <laughs> so I always use the other brush, which is weird, but okay. Actually really pretty. It's pretty pigmented too. I actually really like this color. It's really similar to the um, Relish eyeshadow that I used from Urban Decay. I really like it. Next product that I'm going to be trying out, and I'm super um, excited about this. This is the new NYX Pigment Primer. Um, basically, you guys know I use the um, Eye Candy Cosmetics 
liquid sugar to help like prevent um, like transfer and like my crease and stuff and also to help with like pigmentation so I think this is kind of like what this is so I'm gonna put this on my lid and see how it works so it kind of looks like their glitter primer um, which I actually love their glitter primer is actually really good for a new product too this is the NYX um, shimmer down pigment I'm just gonna pat that on my lid to take some of the shimmer down pigment this is the shade salmon Apply that with a wet and wild concealer brush it's like glitter in this so I'm hoping that it doesn't transfer oh my god this is so this is so pretty holy crap it's like it's really sticking to the primer too so the color is so pretty I don't know if you guys can see but it's really pretty so I'm just patting that on top of the where I put the primer. It honestly is sticking to it really well. <sighs> oh, I just fucked up. I just blew glitter like literally everywhere. These are like kind of messy. There's literally glitter in my hair, in my eyebrow. I'm pissed. <laughs> It does seem to be sticking to the primer really well. I had it just cleaned up um, with some Bioderma underneath like where the glitter was and stuff and thankfully like it's not that kind of glitter that like stays stuck to your face like it's impossible to get off. Um, so it was really easy to clean up. It was not hard at all and it seems to be sticking to the primer. It doesn't seem to be transferring. So I'm really happy about that. It looks really good. This, just be aware like when you use these they are kind of messy so but like the end result is really pretty they're like super glittery but like shimmery at the same I don't know they're really pretty do my face now and I'm really excited about this part so I'm gonna be using the new um, physicians formula spotlight illuminating primer I swatched this on snapchat the other day when I was at the event and it looked really nice like that this um illuminating primer doesn't like um have like a color to it like it does but then like it kind of just shears out so it looks really dewy <laughs> use a little bit of my fenty primer though because i don't want this to be like i don't know i like my fenty primer <laughs> like really illuminating primers you'll probably really like this now i'm going in with the new physicians formula healthy foundation this has spf 20 in it a brightening complex for all skin types they even look at how cute they etched my name into the side adorable i'm gonna be using this this has like a doe foot applicator shape tape foundation is shook they did color match me at the event so I'm assuming this will match. <laughs> I don't like these kind of applicators for foundation though because I feel like once I put it back in the bottle it's just like it's contaminated. It is a medium coverage which I'm very happy about because I don't like full coverage foundations. By the way I'm in the shade LN4 which is light neutral 4. I'm just using a beauty blender or not a beauty, this is a Maybelline sponge to blend this out. Let me get my mirror to see how it looks. It's pretty natural coverage. I feel like you can... Okay, it's a little light. Um, actually, it looks lighter in, on camera than it does in person. In person, it doesn't really look that light. They also said at the event this is buildable coverage, so I will go in with another layer because right now it's pretty like light coverage. Okay, it looks really light on camera, I promise. It doesn't look that light in person. I'm gonna go in with another layer. So far, it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my skin. So I'm just gonna apply another layer in areas where I think I'll need it. Oh yeah, so that added a little bit more coverage. It actually looks really good. It has like a skin-like finish. If anything, I think it might look a little bit more dewy right now just because I have that primer on underneath. But. I like it. Looks good. A little light, but it's okay. Go in with concealer. I don't have a new concealer, but I'm just gonna be using the one that I use every day. That is the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer. 
this is hella yellow compared to this um, foundation. Let me use um, a little bit of light neutral to kind of lighten that up. It's a little funny because this concealer is full coverage and the foundation is not. Brought it down a little bit more to kind of balance it out because it looked really just like full coverage and then like light coverage. Um, if you like full coverage foundations, you probably won't like this. Um, I'm going to set my under eyes with my NYX powder. I'm going to set my face because it is a little, um, it definitely feels like it needs to be set. So I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild powder and my time brush. I'm just going to set like just in this area. I'm going to be using the new um, Butter Bronzers. They came out with two new ones. One is Sunkiss and then one is Deep. I'm going to go in with Sunkiss. No, I love, dear to my heart, the original Butter Bronzer. Look at mine right now. It's literally like dead. <laughs> um, but these are their two new shades. I'm glad they expanded the shade range on these. I really like the color of this one. It's pretty warm, but it's not like orange. I'm just going to go ahead and contour. No new contouring products, so I'm going to skip that. <laughs> but I'm just using my um, Makeup Geek one that I always use. I'm just going to contour my nose. I am set. I'm baked. I'm contoured. Baking my nose. Per usual, I'm going to be using is the Lush. Oh, by the way, for the powder I'm baking with, I'm just using um, the MAC Patrick Star Patrick Powder. It's really good powder. For blush, I just got this yesterday. This is the Koki Cosmetic or Koki, sorry, Koki Professional. Excuse me. Koki Professional Koki Cosmetics. I don't know. Blush Up Palette. They just sent this to me. And I'm really loving this middle shade. It reminds me a lot of that blush that I used to use from Lorac. Oh, what was it called? I forgot what it was called, but I used to use it all the time. So um, it's rare if I use matte blushes. So let's see. Oh. Oh, she's pigmented. Okay, go in very lightly. Ooh, it's like a really pretty nude blush with a hint of like peach kind of, I feel like. I don't know. It looks really pretty. I really like it. For highlight, I do have some new highlighters. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I want to use it, but then like I've been using the pure one that I got in my BoxyCharm and like nothing will ever compare. Try it. it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it though. It looks a little chalky. We'll try it. We'll see how it looks on one side of my face. This is the NYX Born to Glow um, highlighter. This is in Stand Your Ground. Mm. Okay. No, 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 no. She's dusty. Okay. Go in with the pure. Um, Bronze and Brighten palette. This is the one that I can't go, that came in my boxy charm this month, and I I literally can't put it down. I love the blush in here too. Let's just take it all in. So good. It is just like the most beautiful highlight. It makes you just it makes your skin look wet. It doesn't have any glitter in it. It is literally perfect. Um, it's not available yet, but it says coming soon on the website, so y'all need to buy it. I do have a discount code with Peer too. It's Katrina. You get 20% off. So if you guys want to wait for this to come out, I highly recommend it. I also have a discount code with Sigma for the palette that I actually really like. Um, it's just Trains10, I believe. I have all my discount codes listed down below. I'm just highlighting my nose with this. It's the new Love You So Mochi. Well, I'll use it on my inner corner. Let's see what that looks like. This is the new I Love You So Mochi um, highlighter palette. This is the Arcade Glam one. I'll probably do my lower lash line first. Back in with the red shade that I used earlier for my lower lash line. It's really hard to find good like red eyeshadows that are like pigmented and blend well and I really like this one. Sigma, you did really good with this palette. I have some of their other palettes and I like them. They're not like my favorite but I like them but honestly I really like this one. I'm gonna take um, the Love You So Mochi 
little palette. These are like, I don't know if you can see, they're like kind of squishy. I like it. You can see like there's like a little finger indent in there. Hopefully this works because it's like a, not like a cream, but it's not like a powder either. Take a little bit of this powder away. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, this is so freaking pretty. Oh wow, that's really pretty. New um, Physicians Formula Killer Curves Mascara. I'm just going to apply this. Actually, hold on, I need to do my, just kind of do a little tiny line just so it hides my lash band. This is the Ciate, um, what's it called? Fierce Flicks, Fierce Flicks Eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the mascara. This is the new one from Physicians Formula. It's the Killer Curves Mascara. So it seems a little dry. Oh, there we go. It's more of a drier formula. Or mine's just straight out. I don't know. I just got this like two days ago, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. I'm just going to go in with my um, Koki Volume and Length that I always use. It's amazing. It's like $6. And it's fantastic. And you can get it at Walmart. It's bomb. I'm going to apply some lashes off camera because I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. So I'll be right back. I'm back. The lashes that I'm wearing are just Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. Bringing it back to what I always used to wear. For lips, this is like the last thing. I'm pretty snatched. I do say so myself. Um, skin looking right and tight and glowy. So for lips, I'm going to go, I'm going to try this first. Let's see how it works. This is the new NYX Powder Puff Lippy. This is in the shade Pop Quiz. I also have Moody. There are these two. I have all of them, but these two look like they might work the best. I'm going to try this color first. So this is what they look like. I'm going to squeeze. Squeeze. Please don't. Don't score in my face. Okay, I see it. It's coming. A little bit further. Let me swatch this. Okay, that's that's dark. I don't know if I want to go that dark right now. What moody looks like. This one looks more like mauvey. Okay, I like this one. This one feels like it'll go better with this look. So these are supposed to be like powder. Um, it says a soft cushion applicator, lightweight lippy that goes on moussey and sets to a powdery soft finish. This applicator seems like it's going to be a little hard to get, like, a precise application. So, let's see. Very interesting. Ooh, I like this color, though. So, it feels like a mousse. You kind of get, like, a precise lip application. They feel really comfortable. It's really weird because, like... It feels kind of like moussey, but powdery at the same time. I mean, I guess that's exactly what it is. It's just like the strangest thing. They feel really nice. Like, it feels really comfortable, and they look matte. Like, there's not much shine here. Um, I actually really like this color, like, a lot. Dust off this powder on my nose. So, yeah, this is the finished look. I actually, this is exactly what I had in my mind. This is, like, exactly what I wanted to do, and it came out exactly how I wanted it. It looks really good. These are like my favorite kind of colors to wear. It's just like reds and berries and pinks. Um, so a little overview. Eyebrow product, the Physicians Formula one, I like it a lot. My eyebrows look really good. Um, I will let you guys know in the description box like how long this brow product lasted or if it even lasts like while I wash my face and stuff. So we'll see about that. Eyeshadow palette, the Sigma one. I really like it. It has a lot of neutrals in here, but it also has like the reds. It has like this really pretty like greeny brown. I don't know. It's really pretty. I really like the red in here. So I'm, I'm assuming if, I, if they can make red work, I'm assuming the other shadows in here are pretty good. So um, I do have a discount code for Sigma. I will leave that down below if you guys want to pick this up for yourself. The primer. Primer is bomb. The like, um, the pigment primer bomb. It's really good. I'm not having very much transfer at all. I think the only transfer that is in my crease is from like when I freaking blew the glitter out of my face. Um, but other than that, it's not transferring at all. It's pretty set. If I touch it, there's not even anything really coming off my lid. So really good. I'm pretty sure this is out already. It might be just on their website. I don't know if it's in stores yet, but 
um, it will be out soon if it's not. Um, I will link everything that I tried down below too. The Shimmer Down Pigments, amazing. This is so pretty. They are a little messy, I will say that. They are kind of messy, but like the end result is so pretty. What I used today was Salmon and it's so freaking pretty. I highly recommend them. They're so nice. Um, NYX has my favorite glitters too, so I wasn't like surprised that I liked these. Foundation. Looks really good. Let me... Where's my mirror? Not really settling into my fine lines or anything. It's not cakey. It's not like settling into anything. It doesn't feel drying. It's like a very natural finish. Like it's not like a... I wouldn't say it's like a satin or a matte. It's like right in between. Um, I really like how it looks. It's not emphasizing pores or anything. Um, you definitely could build up the coverage too. I wouldn't say you can build this up to like a full coverage, I don't think. Um... But it, it did build up to like a medium, medium, maybe almost full. It looks almost full just because I have a full coverage concealer on. So it looks really nice. The color, I, maybe I could probably go like one shade darker. I'm, when I get tan, I'm definitely going to need to do that. It, but like once I put bronzer and stuff on, it doesn't look that much lighter anymore. That blush palette is really pretty. The Koki one, I really like the blush. Um, and the lip product, the lippy, this, feels really comfortable. It doesn't look like dry on my lips or anything like it doesn't feel drying it's really pretty i'm excited to try the other ones oh the primer i don't feel like it really made me look dewy but then again like i did set my face and stuff so i don't know but i feel like i look the same like that i always do like i don't look extra glowy or anything so i don't really know but i also use my fenty primer on top of it too so i guess that wasn't like the best way to try it out oh this mascara i did not like this mascara so this stuff was affordable too like it was all kind of drugstore most of it was drugstore anyways i hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already i will leave all the products that i use listed down below as well as the better help link as like i mentioned earlier if you guys are interested in that um you guys could sign up and if you guys do use the link that i uh, the affiliate link thank you so much for supporting me it means a lot if you guys don't want to use the affiliate link you could just check it out at betterhelp.com but like i said i will leave the link down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!